Last year, Chris Wilcox and Jeff Green of the Boston Celtics didn't know what the future would hold. Green was recovering from open heart surgery, and Wilcox was next. Heart surgery, to me, it was like, oh man, you know, like life death situation, you know. Everything went through my mind, my career, family, life, you know, everything I've been through. Both players had bulging aortic aneurysms. The artery that carries blood to the body was enlarged at the root, right where it connects to the heart. Both of them had had uh, very fragile aortas, particularly Jeff. Jeff's, Jeff's aorta was really paper thin and it could have blown at any time. Aortic aneurysms can be life-threatening. They're often caused by abnormal heart valves, high blood pressure, or inherited disorders. But in this case, it was something else that both players share. Well, I wonder about the water in Boston. Uh, no, this is something that occurs in, in tall people. And obviously these are, are super athletes, so they put a lot of strain on their hearts and also they are very tall. Green and Wilcox had heart surgery at Cleveland Clinic. During the operation, the chest is opened and the enlarged part of the aorta is replaced with a polyester tube with the original valve sewn inside. From a medical point of view, their breastbone is stronger than it was before the operation. But what I actually said to uh, Jeff Green was that, uh, don't worry about your scar and getting hit. Uh, I said, drop your shoulder and you could take on Shaq O'Neal. Fully recovered from surgery, both players now have their hearts in the game and a greater appreciation for life on and off the court. Treat every day like it's your last, you know, because you don't, you know, you can't predict what's going on with the body. And who knows when, you know, your last day might be and, uh, you know, mine could have been, you know, a year ago, you know, but you know, I'm, I'm more, you know, happy these days, uh, you know, just enjoying life and uh, enjoying the people I have around me because, you know, it could be gone tomorrow. At Cleveland Clinic, I'm Erica Foreman.